morning, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another 60 Seconds Challenge video. And this challenge is called the Sacrificing Challenge. And I'm gonna need to catch my breath for a second because this challenge is very well written and it's long and thick and veiny, I'm pretty sure. So here's how it goes. The Seven Deadly Sins Challenge. Stage one, lust. It lasts for 10 days. Give your wife Dolores special treatment. Oh, you already know I always give all my women special treatment. You can't do anything that will put her in harm's way, like sending her out to scavenge. And you have to feed her and give her water more often than anyone else because you want to get laid. <laughs> oh, I like the way you think, girl. Stage two, gluttony. Stage lasts five days. You must feed every family member every single day, even though they don't need it because they're hungry sons of bitches. Stage three, greed. Stage lasts 10 days. You can't do anything that will help other people besides your family members. No answering the door to beggars, or getting pancake if he turns up during the stage. Oh, you motherfucker. For example. Also, if someone brings you a suitcase, you have to open it. Stage 4, sloth. My favorite. <laughs> You're too lazy to do anything. You have to say no to every single option you get besides food and water. And that one lasts 5 days. Stage 5 is wrath. It lasts 10 days. If a scenario comes up, you have to choose the most violent option. Also, when scavenging, you have to take a weapon. Stage 6. Envy. It lasts 20 days. God damn! You are desperate for supplies, so you have to send a family member out to scavenge every single time it's available, regardless of the conditions outside. Also, if a trader comes by, you have to trade your items. And lastly, stage 7, Pride. It lasts 10 days. You are proud of what you have, so no scavenging, trading, or obtaining new items in any way. You don't have to get rescued, just survive 70 days and you win the challenge. Getting rescued is a bonus, however you also can get rescued before 7 days are up or it doesn't count. Have fun. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just have a round of applause for that. I read all that. I'm that dude. You are that chick for writing that well thought out game plan for me. I'm gonna need to bring this up every once in a while. Because I can't remember all, all that right off the bat. So stage one is lust. It lasts for 10 days. Let's get this started. Since you didn't say anything about what difficulty I can play on, we are going to go fat man, a.k.a. normal. And I don't really see anything about bringing all the family members. But just to make this fun, I'm going to bring every single family member. So let me make sure I get Mary Jane first because she requires the most amount of hands. Even though no man's hands would ever touch that. With a 10-foot pole. Nobody would touch this girl. Oh, she's going to be a virgin forever. I guarantee that. Hello, my beautiful wife. Going to spoil you because I want to get laid. <laughs> That's the first stage, too. Lust. I want to get laid, baby. And you're going to give it to me. We'll get our son last. I want to get the stuff in this kitchen first. Oh, damn. A med kit's in here. What the hell's a med kit doing in the kitchen? Usually, it's in the bathroom, but I guess today, they're like, fuck it. We're going to be in the kitchen. Okay. What else do I need? Fuck, flashlight! Go, 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 go! Shit, I'm not gonna make it! Oh, fuck, I'm not gonna make it! Oh, fuck my candy! <laughs> oh, my God, I hate it when the furniture's in the way and I get stuck. That is some dog shit. That's like stepping in the dirtiest dog shit. The end. Suck my balls. Let's try that again. Okay, round two. I'm gonna make sure I do all this. Sorry I'm eating something, guys. I'm so unprofessional. I got hungry while I started the game. I'm eating a fruit snack. I don't know if you guys eat those uh, types of candy. It's a fruit snack. Holy shit, I need to finish eating this. Okay, let me grab that. Oh, this shit is sweet. It's so good. Makes my nipples nice and juicy. Not that you need to know that. Grab the map. Grab the water bottle. I mean, grab my son and the water bottle. Let's get my whore of a data. And another water. And throw your bitch's ass in there. Okay. I can't even speak right now because the flavors in my mouth are just so juicy. Throw that in there. We gotta be quick, baby. Get this. Uh, come on. What the hell? It's so hard to click on things. What else am I missing? Oh, I'm missing so much stuff. Oh, get that, get that, get that, get that, get that, get that. Go, 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 go. Fuck, I forgot the lock. I actually grabbed the ammo. Damn it. Okay. We did it. I am just gonna have to live with whatever I just got. Let the seven deadly sins challenge begin. Day one. That's not bad. That's not a bad haul. I didn't think I got this much stuff. We got cards. And that's it. Fuck cards. Okay, so stage one is, let me see. Lust. Last ten days, I have to give Dolores special treatment. 
can't do anything that will put her in harm's way like sending her out to scavenge. And you have to feed her and give her water more often than everyone else because you want to get laid. Okay, whenever she's thirsty or hungry, I'm going to give her the soup and the water. But hopefully she's thirsty for me, you know what I'm saying? Because I want to get laid, just like it said. Okay, let's see. She's quite calm given the situation. So she doesn't really need anything. And everyone else gets water and food every five days. And it's a rat and has a double tail. So we are going to cut that bitch up. But yeah, like I said, every time Dolores just has a sign, or if she, even if her stomach is just rumbling just a little bit, I'm gonna give her some treatment. There has to be some water left. Dolores should get it. Yes, Dolores, you should get the water because you are melere. And nobody's gonna go outside yet. And more random notes. Day four. Fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for harsh reality that awaits us. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Well, too bad, so sad. Timmy's in terrible shape. Today's been fine for Dolores. Okay, she doesn't need anything. Ted has one foot in the grave. See? She's getting that special treatment. Nobody's going out yet again. And more random notes. There are like no situations. It's been four days. And we've only had that rat situation in one day. But usually when I have like some special challenge to do, there's always like a situation popping up and I'm screwed. Um, and it's day five, so everybody's going to get a little some something, something. Nobody's going to go out again. And we're not big fans of our strange smelling shelter, but when we started to smell something burning, we quickly realized how much we prefer the nothing is on fire scent it had before. A fire! We need to put it out and save our supplies. We don't have time to save them all. What do we save? Okay, Dolores gets special treatment for the first deadly sin. So what do you guys think that she would want the most? The radio or the med kit? I think as a lady, I'm not a lady, but I'm saying as her being a lady, she would probably want the med kit because more like cosmetic or, you know, something's prob like troubling her. If something happens to her, then I need to give her the medicine. So we are going to save that. And we're going to have to sacrifice the radio, which sucks balls. But like I said, it's lust. So we got to just follow the rules. Drugs! Get the drugs! That was our first thought, and we were able to secure the med kit before it was burnt to ashes, but the fire grew quickly and damaged other supplies. You know what I don't get about this? If the supplies were burning, like if there was a fire where you had to save this one on this side of the room, the med kit, and then on the other side of the room, the radio, then why the hell didn't all the other stuff burn up? I mean, that's a plot hole, right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's, that's, a that's a big plot hole. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling this situation. She looks fine today. Well, I beg to differ. She doesn't look that fine. She's a little ugh-ugh, but I get what you mean. Oh, wait. Did it say anything about Dolores needing special treatment? Uh, no. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. Yay. And nobody's going to go out again. And we had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other while his companion was pretending to ride his horse. They claimed to be on a very important quest to seek some magical cup, only they lost their way in the wasteland. They asked permission to have a quick look at our map to determine their whereabouts. Eh, I don't mind doing that. It's not putting Dolores in harm's way. Let me check the challenge again real quick. Yeah, all we need to do is give her special treatment and we can't put her in harm's way like sending her out to scavenge. So I think we're doing a pretty good job of that. And those two galloping horse motherfuckers gave us a lock, so bravo for that. And now we are a week into this shelter. Not gonna go out yet. And more random notes. Day eight. We thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. The silence was too annoying and we quickly stopped. Water is what Mary Jane needs most. Can't leave it to me without water. Dolores has to drink sometimes. All right, my queen, you get some of that. What's up? But nobody else. And nobody's gonna go out yet. And I can't use the radio, so we are trying to get in contact with people, but we don't have the radio. Too bad, so sad. It is now day nine. Dolores is doing quite well. Or she just can't find anything to complain about today. So that's good news. Nobody's gonna go out again. And what the hell? More random notes. I swear to God, when I'm doing other challenges, there are all these things I need to do up the ass. But when it has something to do when I actually don't really care or actually need it, then I, there's, no, there's nothing. There's like no option. But with that said, we passed the first stage of lust. Actually, this is the tail end of the day. So... We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb job, yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth to the other side of the street. Should someone go answer it? 
So this is the last day of the lust part of the challenge. We can't send Dolores because she can't be in harm's way. We are gonna send her little mini-me because he has ginger hair too and he has no soul. Timothy. And good, he didn't get sick. That's what I like to see. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as a survivor from a nearby town of Hill Valley. Those are the twins, so we started the twin ending. But we can't get rescued for 70 more days. So, with that said, it is stage two, gluttony. It lasts five days. You must feed every family member every single day, even though they don't need it, because they're hungry sons of bitches. Oh my god, we are so fucked. We are so fucked! Oh my god, this is gonna... I don't even know how this is gonna work. Okay, so they're gonna get all the food. And shit. Uh, I don't even think I'm gonna last. This is all bad. God damn it. <laughs> oh man, I'm just thinking for five days I gotta give them all my food. And I don't have five cans of food, so I don't even think I'm gonna last five days. Look at this. Unless there's a situation where someone gives us something. Please. Enjoying the little things in life is more important in any situation. So when Mary Jane found some seeds in the shelter, she got really excited. She thinks that with a little luck and enough water and soil, we might be able to grow our own food. We don't know if these are vegetable seeds, but if they are, planting them might be worth a shot. Shall we use a bottle of water to start our own garden? Uh, well, if we follow the gluttony part of the challenge, then that means we need to do anything for food, right? Because they're fat fucks. So we're going to accept that because it equates to more food you guys get where i'm coming from but we also lost a bottle of water the, uh, we lost two bottles of water that day i fed them that day and i gave up a bottle of water so this is gonna suck the biggest balls that have ever been sucked before and give them that oh my god okay nobody's gonna go out yet more random notes <laughs> oh man this is the part of the challenge where i'm slowly getting bent over Someone slowly spreading my butt cheeks and they're about to give me some thrust. This is the part of the challenge because look, I'm gonna run out of food by tomorrow. Nobody's gonna go out yet. And fuck! Where are all the situations at? Like they slowly want me to die in here. This is great. Last day of stage two gluttony. Fuck. This sucks. Okay. There you go. Everybody gets food again. And since the stage two is gonna be over tomorrow, I'm gonna prepare to scavenge. I got a plan. I have a great plan. I'm gonna send one of these guys out to go scavenge. Hopefully they come back within a couple days, bring some more water, and I'm just gonna keep sending them out. So it is now day 16. We are on stage three greed. It lasts 10 days. You can't do anything that will help other people besides your family members. No answering the door to beggars or getting pancake if he turns up during this stage, for example. Also, if someone brings you a suitcase, you have to open it. Okay, so we can go out and scavenge because it has to do with our family members. So let's send out Ted and bring the gas mask. There we go. Whew, now the challenge is getting interesting. Now I'm getting into it. This is cool. I like a good challenge. I don't like it being like a cakewalk or anything like that. So it's go time, motherfuckers. Let's do this. This dreadful silence is becoming boring and like every happy model family, we don't have that many things to talk about. We don't have the radio. Too bad, so sad. So this is where I'm thinking... Like, this is where my thought process is right now. Look at this. This bitch died already. Okay. I'm thinking everybody's going to die, right? But Ted is going to come back. He's going to bring some water. He's going to bring some food. That'll last him a couple days. And I don't really need all the family members to do the last stages of the seven deadly sins. So I should be okay. I mean, I'm not going to be, like, perfect. I'm only going to have Ted. But hopefully things... Oh! Mary Jane's a mutant! How the fuck did that happen? Lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opened the shelter door and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. We couldn't figure it out, so we just assumed that what a regular pipe would do in the event of a nuclear apocalypse and decided to ignore it. We've been feeling a bit funny today, though. Probably no connection to the pipe. None whatsoever. What the hell? Mary Jane went to bed her normal self, and now she's all mutated. Oh, Mary Jane, what happened to you? What the hell? This, this could work out in our favor, though. This might be a blessing in disguise, because... If Ted comes back with even just a couple waters and a couple cans of food, we got this by the ass. More random notes. Please, for the love of God, Ted, bring back some water and food. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Okay, that's good. When she's a mutant, she doesn't really need water and food all that much. It's kind of rare that she would need food and water, but hopefully Ted can come back. Yes! Ted came back, and he brought back some water and some food. Fuck yeah! 
Okay, so we can't do anything that'll involve other people because we're on stage three greed right now. This is so good. He brought back two water, two food. Fuck yeah. And a suitcase. And he lost the gas mask. But don't worry, we have Mary Jane for that. So let's give him some of this. Let me see if Mary Jane needs anything. She's feeling safe. All right, good. We found an anonymous note next to our shelter door. Whoever wrote it requests that we send one representative to a meeting tonight in a set location. That person must come unarmed. This bit worries us, but the author assures us he or she is friendly and doesn't mean to hurt us. Are we going to send someone to check it out? Yes, we are going to send our mutated daughter <laughs> to a meeting and hoping that they will accept us for who we are and what we are. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It's true. It's all true. There really are others just like us. We arrived at the rendezvous unarmed and on time, and we were greeted by a friendly looking group of survivors. They're being led by twins, a brother and sister, blah, blah, blah. You guys know the deal. If you don't know the deal, they're basically going to rescue us if we play our cards right. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Mary Jane is quite hungry, okay? So they're both hungry, but I have to not give them food yet. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna prepare to scavenge. I'm gonna send out Mary Jane because she's the real motherfucking MVP. I can't believe we survived the gluttony stage. That is too clutch. That was the clutchest shit ever. Okay, she needs food and Ted's hungry, but don't worry, we'll, we'll be fine. I'm gonna send out Mary Jane and she's a brute. She can handle herself. So she doesn't really need anything. We just gotta pray, guys. You gotta help me pray that she'll come back with some good stuff because we need to survive. Oh, and I read the rules of the stage three. It's greed, right? You know how you can't answer the door to anyone or, you know, do anything that'll help other people? Well, we didn't do that. We went to the meeting because I knew it would help ourselves. Ha! I found a plot hole and you guys can't say anything about that. It's not every day you wake up to a carnivorous plant trying to eat you. This is how our day started, because Mary Jane's plan and any gardening ambitions we had. Who would have guessed the seed would grow into a bloodthirsty demon? We need to get rid of it. All right, use the axe. And if Ted gets hurt, I am going to use the med kit. So we are good so far. And it's the last day of greed. So after this, let me see what's next. It's sloth. You're too lazy to do anything, so you have to say no to every single option you get besides food and water, okay? And we got a visit from a person with a physical mutation. No, I'm sorry, I can't help you. I can't help you unless it helps me first. And going to the meeting for the twins helps me because it gets me started to do the ending. It didn't benefit them in any way. Like, they didn't, nothing happened to them. So now we are on stage four slot. Too lazy to do anything. Okay, so I got to say no to every single thing except food. We were about to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking at the door. Who could it be at this hour? Well, no, go away. I'm the sloth and I'm not trying to answer the door right now. All right, so get the fuck out of here. Day 27. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it'd be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there's any trouble in the area. As we were about to step out, a pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness. Oh, it's pancake. Too bad. So sad. We are in the sloth stages for a couple more days and Mary Jane is back 28 days later. That's what I like to see. And Mary Jane's back. And what'd you find? One soup, one water, one checkerboard, one ax. God damn. Okay. I like that. Does she need any water? She needs a little food. Okay, we're good. We have a couple more days. And since we're lazy, we're not going to do anything, and we're not going to play cards with this fuck. So we only got two more days. Whew. All right, I'm ready. And like I said, with a challenge, I'll find loopholes. I'll find plot holes. I'm not a lawyer, but I'll find those holes. Any holes a goal, you know what I'm saying? Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Ted's stomach is rumbling. No, I'm good. Nobody's going to get anything. Nobody's going to go anywhere. And soldiers are trying to find us, but we don't even have a radio anyway. And this is the last day of the sloth uh, part, by the way. So we have to feed them because that's the only thing we can do in the sloth stage. So let's give them this and that. And more random notes. Okay, what's next? I'm looking at the notes on the side, by the way, guys. It's wrath. <laughs> It lasts 10 days. If a scenario comes up, you have to choose the most violent option. Also, when scavenging, you have to take a weapon. Okay, I could dig that. Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to prepare to scavenge. I'm gonna send Mary Jane out again. And the twins kept their promise and came to visit us again. The issue is simple. They need meds badly. They started building their own camp, but some of the workers were ambushed by a bunch of raiders and now they're in no shape to work. They need medication and bandages to take care of their people. Okay, let me read the challenge again. If a scenario comes up, you have to choose the most violent option. Okay, it says nothing about not helping other people. So we are going to help the twins because we're just good people. 
But, you know, even though we have some wrath in us and we kill people just for fun, we can also help out other people. There is no, there is no, like, barrier that prevents me from helping anybody out. So, let's bring Mary Jane and I have to bring a weapon. So, let's bring the axe. Alright, there we go. Hooray for me following rules. Day 33. We know there's a group of bandits camped near our shelter, but we're not exactly powerless. With a bit of luck and force, maybe we can show them that we're not to be trifled with? We can't just murder them all, but it's worth a try, isn't it? Okay, well, I need to do any situation where there is violence in here, so I guess I have to use my gun. But this is gonna suck balls, because I am 99.999% sure that once you do this thing with the bandits, they're gonna come back, and they're gonna try to fuck you in the ass every single time. We won the battle. These bandits were no match for us. We quickly overpowered them and forced them out of the camp. We are quite exhausted, but it was definitely worth it. We hope they won't bother us for a while. Ted has one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Right now, right now? Okay, I'm gonna give it to him right now, right now. And more random notes. All right, there's Mary Jane. Hallelujah. I don't see any new water, though. What does she bring back? A Boy Scout book? Not bad. Okay, I like that. And she lost the axe. All right. So, I don't have any more weapons, but I still need to scavenge, though. Wait, do I need to? Let's see. Uh, also when scavenging, you have to take a weapon. Okay, I don't have any more weapons. Oh, I do have a weapon. Okay, I have a gun. So I can prepare to scavenge. And another situation with the radio. See, my plan is go out with Mary Jane as much as possible and just try to just maximize her mutatedness. I mean, it's not every day I get her to be a mutant. So this is what we're gonna do. Wait. Let me make sure. She could use a little food. Where's water when Ted needs it? All right, we're good. I'm gonna pick Mary Jane, and then we're gonna pick the gun, because I need to take a weapon. And we only have a couple more days until Wrath anyway. It's called Wrath, right? Yeah, Wrath. Okay, Wrath, baby. <laughs> I like that word, Wrath. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Ted has one foot in the grave. Okay, you gotta get that. And I know I'm giving him water and stuff early, but that's because I've been giving it to him like a day before, like 35, 40, 45, you know what I mean? We're closed off in a tiny shelter and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. We know there's a group of elderly people hiding in the ruins of a local retirement home. Say no more! I will kill those old fucks without hesitation. I'll take a naifu and their laifu right now, okay? Because it's wrath. That's what we do, baby. We went, got what we needed, and came back. We're sure that the group will do just fine. Most probably. Yeah, absolutely. Ted is not complaining today, at least not very much. And we got a radio, so that's good news. And the roaches seem to get more organized with every passing day. Gonna hit those bitches with a book. The, the situation came up earlier about the roaches, but I had no option to pick. So I was just kind of like, whatever, and I skipped it. And this is the last day of Wrath, by the way, so we're good. Our situation is getting worse every day. We can see the hunger and desperation in each other's eyes. We know a teacher from a local school rescued a bunch of kids when the bomb fell. All right, so we have to go to a school with teachers. It's the last day of wrath. Very fitting to go out trying to kill some teachers at a school because, oh, we got to do some violent shit, right? And Mary Jane's back. And Ted's crazy as fuck. What the hell? We went, got what we needed, and came back. And we got one can of soup. Awesome. And she brought back two waters, a gas mask, and she lost the gun. But don't worry. Wrath is over. Next one is Envy. It lasts 20 days. Oh, Jesus. You're desperate for supplies, so you need to send a family member out to scavenge every single time that it's available, regardless of the conditions outside. Also, if a trader comes by, you have to trade your items. Okay, so that's fine with me. I have Mary Jane with me. Let me see what she needs, though. She's hungry. Okay, let's give them that. And Ted's good, right? Ted doesn't drink anything. He won't last long. You know what? Since we only have two family members, I can give them a little bit more. Let's prepare to scavenge so we can send out Mary Jane and more random notes! I'm loving it so far, guys. This challenge is awesome. It's making me think every single second, every time I make a decision. And I love challenges like that. Fucking love it. So let's send out Mary Jane. And I don't need to bring anything out, do I? Let me check. Uh, you have to scavenge. It doesn't say anything about bringing any weapons. And if a trader comes, I need to make a trade. Okay, good. Mary Jane, good luck and Godspeed. Day 46. There's no need to keep a rifle that doesn't even shoot. We've tried, but it's not working as a decorative piece. It's totally ruining the flow of a spiritual energy in our shelter. Why don't we try fixing it to make it useful again? Yes, I absolutely agree. Let me make sure if there's any restrictions on that. 
But we're desperate for supplies. Okay, so this is a supply need, so of course. Of course we're gonna use the book to get an extra supply, which is the gun. But Ted is also crazy. And we lost the gun. Fuck. Fuck me silly. This is bullshit. Okay, so we got four cans of soup, one water, and that's it. So Mary Jane, let me see if you need anything. Okay, they need food and water. You know what? I'm gonna just give it to them. We have a lot of supplies. Mary Jane's gonna go out again. And we've been hearing strange noises lately. Is it coming from the outside or is it something that came into the shelter with us? Could it be? We found nothing. We feel like we might be going crazy. We should probably get busy with something to keep us occupied before this gets worse. Yes, I agree. Hopefully, the card game makes Ted less insane. Please, for the love of God. Damn it. He still has Mr. Sock on his hand. Uh, and there's no notes about it anyway. That's weird. Okay, so we're going to send out Mary Jane. No sub. She's going to have no equipment with her. Hopefully she comes back with more good stuff. I mean, she has been coming up with good stuff. We have 11 more days of this part, and then it's the last sin, and hopefully we can get rescued. All right, it is now day 50. Ted destroyed the map, son of a bitch. We're gonna feed him. And we were discussing plans for our first meal that didn't feature tomato soup when we heard yells outside. We discovered they came from a small group of ragged survivors. They were a sorry sight and weren't surprised when they requested aid. They asked us to provide anything we could, water, food, or medical supplies. Let me see if I can. Uh, we're desperate for supplies, so we need the supplies. So go fuck yourselves. We need those supplies more than you guys, at least for another 10 days or 9 days now since it's day 51. But hopefully nothing, there's no like bad news about that. No, good, they just left, no hassle. Damn it, every time we want to check out one of these really great places in the neighborhood, we end up looking at a stain or a hole in our map. That's not very helpful when you are planning a very dangerous journey now, is it? So it's a good time to fix that darn map, yes. But a crazy person fixing the map? I don't even know about that. Yes, he fixed it, his crazy ass fixed it, I can't believe it, cool. <laughs> That's weird. What did it say? Ted isn't acting normally. Sometimes his behavior is pretty disturbing. I don't even want to know what he's doing. I mean, he does have a sock on his hand, bleh, but hopefully he's not doing what I think he's doing. Spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they will have all the same rights to this shelter as we do. They're everywhere and don't seem very scared of us. It's time we change that. We don't want any more spiders in our soup. No, sir. No, sir, re Bob. I'm so... It's so unbelievable how... We survived the gluttony stage where I lost all the food, and now we're almost completing all the sins. It's it's just crazy. This whole challenge is crazy. We received another transmission from the army. They'll be doing a quick sweep of the area and asked all survivors to leave markings at the nearest bus stop to indicate they're around. The markings are to be made with cards. Guess we won't be able to play poker, but if that gets us rescued, then we can probably make that sacrifice. Well, no we can't, because we need supplies. If we lose the cards, that means we're losing a supply. So, in the spirit of the rules, I'm sorry, military, we can't do that. And where the hell is Mary Jane? She's been gone for a long-ass time. Did it say anything about her? No? Where the hell did she go? Okay. And let me give him this. I hope she's not dead. She can't be dead because she's a mutant. She can fight her way back. Yes, she's back on day double nickel. Hello, Mary Jane. We lost one can of soup. Damn it. And we got back more stuff. Good. So let's give her this. You know what? I'm just gonna feed them on every other five day just to make it, you know, just to just so I know in my mind. And we're gonna prepare to scavenge one last time because we got five more days and more random notes. All right, baby girl, one last time. You can do this for me. She has been the MVP. I I honestly couldn't be happier that she was immune. It worked out just how we wanted it to. Oh, I'm so happy about this challenge. Okay. We didn't pack any razors when we came down to the shelter, and now some of us can be confused with a Sasquatch, Mary Jane. A good sharp axe might be a perfect replacement for a razor. I would not trust a crazy man with a razor to shave his face right now. I mean, I'm jealous that he can grow a beard and I can. All I have is these little chin pubes, but I would not trust a crazy person with a razor, no. No axe, no shave, maybe another time. Where's water when Ted needs it? Don't worry, Ted, you'll be all right. Just don't die on me. That's the only thing I'm begging you not to do. You've been crazy for how many days now? I mean, I know your dead wife is right there. Your son ran away to God knows where. Your daughter's a mutant, but just hang in there, Ted, please. For the love of God, just hang in there. Let me make sure he's not going to die. Okay, he has one foot in the grave. And the trash can is getting disgusting. We need to get rid of the green cockroaches. I agree. And it is the last day of the sixth sin, which is... 
Envy. Okay. We are almost done with Envy. Thank you, God. Let's speed Ted. And alarm! Someone is trying to break in and they're not alone. We'd better get ready or else we might end up dead or worse. So fuck no. I am too close to beating this challenge to die from some raiders right now. You gotta be shitting me. Alright, stage 7 is pride. It lasts 10 days. You are proud of what you have, so no scavenging, trading, or obtaining new items in any way. Alright, we just need to do that, and we complete the 7 deadly sins challenge. Unless the raiders just give it to us good, and I hope that's not the case. More random notes. Whew, okay, we're in the final stretch, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta get my headphones ready. I gotta sit up. I gotta start wiggling around, get hyped up. God, I smell good. Okay, we can take care of ourselves. Ted tries to hide it, but it's obvious he has a lot of issues. He often has lengthy conversations with his sock puppets. I don't want to know what he talks about. The other day, we heard a quiet knock on our door, but when we opened, we only found a suitcase at the doorstep and there was no one around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it was meant for us. Should we check what's inside? The thing says, you are proud of what you have, so no scavenging, trading, or obtaining new items in any way. So no spank you. I am not going to accept that suitcase. I remember one time I opened the suitcase, there was like a bear trap, and one of them got seriously fucked up. So no more scavenging for Mary Jane, at least until day 70. So we'll be alright. Wait, what happened? Oh, okay. She got bug spray, that's it. And this doesn't count towards the content with everything I have, because I sent her out while the previous sin was in, like, in effect. So that doesn't even count. Another broadcast from the military. They said they need to locate the general- no. I'm not- I'm just gonna decline everything for the next six days. So I'm not even gonna read it. OH SHIT! What the hell?! Oh my god! Ted could not resist the madness that was consuming him any longer. It seems that today, following the advice of his sock puppet, he left the bunker and went in an unknown direction, never to be seen again. We hope Ted and the cruel puppet that took him away from us will have lots of fun together. We didn't make it. These are our final words, and our advice to anyone who reads this is... Mother fuck you. That is some bull! I was six days away from finishing the seven deadly sins challenge! Oh my god, you... I literally... I I can't even I can't even speak. I got screwed in the butt big time. <laughs> you perished. Your mom has perished. I mean, fuck you. All right, I'm definitely gonna do this challenge again. I cannot go out like that. That was the bullshittiest way to go out. Like I got clutch in the very beginning, and then at the end, Ted's crazy ass just left. So if you guys want to see me do the seven deadly sins challenge again. Please let me know in the comments below that you want me to do it again. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!